Artificial intelligence has progressed. I'm now able to have a conversation with a robot like ChatGPT. A University of British Columbia psychology professor recently put AI to the test, and he used it to make a psychology questionnaire, one that he says is just as good as the one humans made that psychologists currently use. What it seems to be good at is helping us to ask questions that across broad populations help us to better understand who somebody is, but not in a clinical sense. So like the personality questions that we have are really much more about, are you an extroverted person? Are you an open-minded person? Are you a responsible, a conscientious person? Are you a sociable person? He says he wouldn't trust the bot without human oversight, especially because results aren't consistent. Sometimes the output is quite erratic. Sometimes it is not useful at all. So I think as of today, it still requires humans to essentially supervise the algorithm and select output. Uh, it, there, there's always a bit of garbage coming out. He does say robots could be a useful tool for psychotherapists. Some practices offer online services by video or text, but a clinical counselor says she doubts that could replace in-person counseling. So already, if you go online, there's assessments for depression, anxiety. There's things that like that, that already exist, and we have been using them for quite a while, yet we still do in-person assessments because you get to see the person, you get to notice their mannerisms and notice what their um, overall demeanor is like, and all of that is related to mental health. There isn't an AI system right now that would be able to pick up on that. We, we see already that more and more sophisticated chatbots come along, and I think they can really help with social connection for some people uh, in the sense that they can combat loneliness, but to me, that's more similar to you talking to a good friend than it is to you talking to a therapist. I was curious about my job security and asked ChatGPT if it could write a new script about chatbots possibly taking over journalism. It says chatbots can analyze data, generate headlines, and even write entire articles all without needing a salary or benefits. But critics worry that chatbots lack the creativity, judgment, and ethics of human journalists. So even if the future looks different, at least for now, I still have a job. In Vancouver, Sarah Chu, City News.